Let's see. I don't know exactly where to start this thing, so let's just start it here. So it's even line, even with everything else. And let's make it out of just... I, I kind of want to say whatever, but we don't have much of a choice. It's iron. So let's see. I don't even know what I'm going to make. Or farm. Let's make a couple and see what it is. Oh, they can't reach it. Oops. <clears throat> oh yeah, they can't reach it from the pole. Oh, nice. Mealwood seed. I got to see what they're... Their needs are fungal spore, blossom seed. I guess blossom might be a good idea to start next. I think that uses roughly the same. Has the same needs, maybe? But it requires water, though. Let's see. Atmosphere, good. Water. Okay, so it does require water. Great. And the temperature is 86 degrees. So, yeah, that's not bad. What is it right here? 80. Eh. It's cold air coming through here, so. We'll wait for that to catch up. Wow, the autosave just takes so long now. We'll run the pipe in a second. Got to figure out where I want to bring that pipe from. Because the pipe is also going to have to... Uh, the water... I mean, it's going to be hot, right? So we'll pull the water from the what's coming in from the pipe and just hope that that's from, coming in from the main pipe from the cold biome, the ice biome, and then we'll see what it does. So. Here we go. Settings applied. And then let's see, where is our liquid? Yeah, so here it is. So we can just branch it off here. It's 125 degrees, so that's pretty hot. And we're gonna feed that into that. I feel like that's just asking for it just to fall apart. This over here, however, this water is all pretty chill. And look at that, it's some right here, 98 degrees. We can just run that straight over and we just have to continue feeding that. I'm wondering, it's not gonna use a ton. So yeah, let's try it. No, 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 that doesn't work, that doesn't work. Uh, we have to go, I think, up. And we'll go up here and then go across. So I swear they don't work unless you do it this way. So we'll let that get started and see what that does. Choose a blueprint. Let's get double reed seed. Nice double reed seed. Double reed seed. What is the? Let's make that a nine, and then we'll copy settings. That way we get that actually planted. So we do have a good steady water supply going into this system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going in at 111. It's coming out at uh, 111, of course, because it doesn't delete heat anymore. Um, so this water is eventually going to get pretty hot. It's needing individual... Oh, yeah, absolutely. So it's pretty warm. I'm guessing it's going to heat the actual... It's 81.9. So the hydroponic farm is 82. So it's climbing in heat. Oh, no, I selected the damn seed. Did I not? Blossom seed. I thought I did. Plant. Oh, I did not. I just didn't plant. There we go. Uh, illumination. Oh, word. <laughs> it wants light, too. Oh, we're going to stand around. Is that what we're doing, boys? Is that what's happening here? Uh, all right. Well, I guess we have to build <laughs> some lights. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, utilities. No, uh, da, 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 da. it's under, it's under furniture? The light? Yeah, it is. So we'll put a light. Oh, look at that. One light will take care of all of this. Just needs to be the right height. And we have it up from on the other side, so. There you go. That's a big ass room for this. Just because we want one light. And I feel like that's kind of silly. So these are going to require a bit of height on their own. So let's go ahead and do, we'll do two instead. That way we keep the, the, the overall height of the room down. And then we'll build another one over here that's going to cover all the way to the wall, looks like, so... Yeah. Good. And then we're going to run power to it. Obviously, we need to run uh, or put more tiles down, so I don't know what we should put down. Maybe more... More more hydroponic farms, I guess? <clears throat> and then... Yeah, let's try it. Let's do more hydroponic farms. Hydroponic farms. So we'll just have those right there, and then we'll go right straight across. And we can go all the way down. Over. Oh, I think we'll go all the way down. Mm, no, let's not do the last one. Oh, oops, oops, oops. Yeah, not the last one. Just in case I want to have a ladder system going between the rooms or something. 
and the power. Bring it up from here. I don't like that it makes that noise you go across those. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll take this and we'll go to uh, copy settings. There we go. Then we gotta build another layer for these other ones here. <laughs> uh, for this one though, we'll just use just regular tiles. What is one, two, three, three gaps, so one, two, three, three gap, and then regular tiles. There we go. And we'll run power to those. Go up and over again. Furniture. Come on. I have a feeling even though I have the... Um... <clears throat> even though I have the auto save set to every two days, it's still stalling every morning. I don't know exactly why it's stalling every morning. I think it's because it's taking a picture or something. I have no idea. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just save, take take the thing to set every one cycle because I'm not really seeing a difference in uh, with that pause that it gets every day. The snoring on death. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, I need the water for that, for that top uh, layer as well. It didn't stall at 466 days. Yeah, it just did. It just, I, well, maybe it didn't. I don't know. It's ha it's still happening often enough that I, I'm just going to leave it on. Because what happens at the end of the day is is I just close the game. I just, just, I'll just re start from the last save. But if I do like every two days, then I'm going to lose an entire day. Now, a lot of stuff happens in a single day, so. There we go. Why is it still no power? Because they still haven't got the cables done, huh? What is the priority of that? It's lead. Awaiting delivery lead. Okay, so it's a, it's a nine, so it's just a matter of getting that lead up here. Probably all the way down here or something. This area is going to eventually be used for something for what I don't know. I do see a lot of natural gas leaking out here, though. I can't believe this thing's running like crazy and it hasn't, uh... I mean... It's kind of a waste right now, honestly. Oh, it's, it's got like nothing runoff anyway, so it just drained the pipe. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's disable it. And it looks like it just emptied everything out, so. The last plan, oh, thanks. Oh, what got me, what up? Thank you so much, let me go back and do that. Uh, pipe and what else does it want? No seed available. Oh, we're actually short on seeds, oh, look at that. Well, we'll get some more, I'm guessing. Uh, until then, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll run a pipe to it, and then we'll... There we go. So lights, boom, boom, lights, good. Happy, they're happy. That's what I want to see. Happy, happy, happy. Good. This one's not. Illumination. Oh, is it just out of range of that thing? Oh my god. Ah. Uh, so annoying. Okay, power. Let's get the power on the right. So basically one more over. Oh crap, where was it? Oh, I see. <laughs> just one. Just one. Can't just like lean in? Like a sunflower or something? Oh god, now the middle one's not gonna get it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fine, fine. There. God. I'm not even- I'm, I don't care. They're, they don't use enough power for me to care. Damn it. There. That's so funny. You gonna... You gonna... You gonna do that wire there, buddy? Oh, waiting. L lead. Okay. I think for these ones, I guess we'll just, um... I guess we just leave them. Eventually, if they, if they get an extra drop of seed or something like that off the bristle blossom, then it'll just go. Floodlights mod. Yeah, please. Please. Alright. Uh, food supply is good. How much water is that actually using? It's moving! Let me see. It is using water, so contents. I mean, it's got that much water in it at any time. I want to see how much it actually uses. Uh, oh, so minus 20 kilograms per... Was it per cycle? Per cycle. I think I have a, a lot more than that, so... Hey, a pipsqueak. Uh, 
don't know how that compares to something else, though. Like, how much water does a carbon skimmer use if it runs full-time? Pardon me, full-time. Yeah. Hmm. So confirm that the wheat, whatever was the problem. Yeah, there was just so much sleet wheat that it was just, it was uh, clogging up all my stores, all my food stores. So this is still not raised in, uh, like this hasn't changed in overall heat. So this area is good. I probably, probably pump some of this into other rooms and uh, generate power for lots of other stuff. But... I mean, like, what is it? It's an 800, and it's providing 204. Oh, you know what? No, it's it's actually just about perfect. This one hydrogen generator is running, you know, these two, and also this up here. So <clears throat> that's, I mean, you're pretty much topped off at that point. Not a whole lot of room here. Temp shift plates. Yeah, so look, you can see the temp shift is, uh, it, I mean, maybe it's visual placebo, but it feels like it's adding a little bit more to that direction. I'm not sure. But the, the hydrogen is getting colder, 30 degrees. It would be really great if we could get this hydrogen down to, like, negatives. If we get it down to the negatives, then we're, we're good. Look at that. Just sucking it up. Smaller, smaller chunks, because I guess it can't get hydrogen fast enough. But it just means it cools it even more, I think. Five degrees. So the hydrogen coming out now is five degrees. Going in at 47 degrees. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Building lacks resources. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, all of this is a mess that needs to be cleaned up. But that's not to the today. Today, me thing. Oh, no. Body temperature. No, why? 86.7. Let me guess. It's the water coming in or something. What is the temperature of the air coming out of this? 48 degrees. Well, I think we know what we have to do. We have to uh, bring this vent up here and just let it push cool air in here. 48 degree air. 41 degrees is the low end, so technically, technically, should work. The light, do the lights put off actual heat? They don't use LED lights? 500, ah. Oh. Now that I've added an extra one, just to fill in that middle gap there, like, it's just that much more heat. Well, let's just do this anyways. I'm just gonna run uh, this vent. It's not gonna be a significant increase, but I mean, look, like, that's a lot of gas is just coming out, right? So, let's go ahead and go up. And... in. Welcome to Farming Future, thanks. And then we'll just drop it right. Uh, oh, we can't put it right there because it's uh, let's put it right there though. And then we'll go up and over here. And we'll go over this side. Gas vent. Gas vent. Now what we'll do is we will kill that and kill this. What is the priority on those guys? Nines. Okay. We'll get all that cool air and have it just drop there. It's not a lot of cool air, but it might be just enough. We get these bursts here like this. And the reason why is because of that, um, this thing's hitting max pressure every once in a while. And so it's, uh, it's only working little bits at a time. But this oxygen, this oxygen is only going to get cooler. It's only going to get cooler, which is nice. It's going to get, uh, because as, as this room continues to cool, which it is, so they're at 38 degrees now, um, then obviously everything that runs through it, it's going to get cooler faster. Move the outer lights, one or two tiles, or move the middle tile. Could. <clears throat> That's what I'm thinking, getting rid of those two. Get rid of this one and this one. And I was just going to leave this one alone. But, yeah, I guess I, I could probably uh, put a hole there. I'm curious if this is going to help it. Hmm. 
Well, I'm just... <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't move the outer lights, though. Yeah, I would just move the, 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 or remove the middle light. I'm only doing this to get rid of water. I don't necessarily need this food. Look, my dupes, they're not happy. But they're, uh, but they're dealing, you know? I want to see if it actually drops in temperature. 86.1? Ah, it's working. Good. Wow. Wow, we have lots. And actually, you know what? Uh, we're getting too much heat transfer right here. So let's go ahead and uh, replace this with insulate. I should have done this first, so that was my fault. Sorry about that. We're losing all of that energy before we even get there. Drecklet. Mm, don't know what to do with that yet, so. Yeah, I don't have any plastic. I literally have zero plastic. Which I should, you know, fix. Let me just build. Oh, crap. I forgot about this up here. Oh, good. I turned it off, so we're not getting any more water on this. Ah, good, 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 good. Actually, where does this vent come from again? Ah, from these drains. Oh yeah, we're not getting anything from these drains anymore, so great. That's awesome. Oh, this is all backed up here, so this water is gonna do nothing but cool. Even further, which is great, because we need cool water for all of this. 127 degree water sucks. So I feel like we're gonna... We're gonna get that biome under control, and we're gonna be able to basically... We're gonna save the, uh, uh, or get the, the area nice and cool. Oh, look at this. There's a couple gaps here in my thing through. Uh, who needs happiness as long as your space overload keeps the stress levels low? That's right. That's right. Let me see. So we're at, I mean, yeah, this, the generator itself is at 91 degrees. That's great. So it looks like the, yeah, it really does look like the temp shift plates really worked. It took all of the heat that was centralized around the natural gas generators and all the other equipment. And it's evenly distributed that heat throughout this entire downstairs area. We even got some green in some of this area. The problem is that now it's heated up all of this, it's gone through the tile, uh, the insulated tile, and it's actually starting to heat everything up here very slowly. I wonder if maybe we should put another set of temp shift tiles. Uh, God, it would take forever. Somewhere else. I mean, like in the rooms, maybe? I don't know. This is all drywall right here, but that's not going to do anything for us. This room's great anyways. 80, 84 degrees. It's chilling there. Okay, so it didn't work. <laughs> let's go ahead and kill. Let's kill a light. Let's see, kill a light, kill the wire. And let's kill that. And let's kill this. There we go. Sploosh. Man. But we have some, uh, yeah, look at that, see? This is the other thing we have to deal with. We have to get some water down here that we can, oof, not that stuff. That we can dump in there to, to keep this area cool. We just don't have any cool water anywhere right now. 107 degree, 108 degree, that's gonna instantly... Hmm. Water coming out of here is 143 degree, yeah, that's definitely not gonna work. <laughs> if only I had ice. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Like, here's what I'm. Th here's what I'm thinking of doing. Liquid vents, and then just right here, just boom, 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 all the way across, and then just run a pipe down into here, and that's it. Like, it's a super simple setup, and it would work. Uh, oh, there's a thing right there, but um, it will totally work, and it'll keep these things fed. The question is like. Does it make more sense to make a... Hydroponic farm down here and just feed the water directly in? I feel like I did that already once and it didn't work for some reason. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't necessarily need to put it right. 
put one in each. Oh yeah, no, because I need I need I need a shut off of some sort. Wow, let, let me put a building right here. Oh. Well, that could supply for that area. And then I didn't realize I could put one there. That could supply for that area. And then uh, this could supply for that area. Good. We only need three. They'll still they still need dirt and yeah and phosphorus yeah. It killed a farm. Oh, it did kill a farm because you know why? I have a mod that will automatically remove based off of buildings. Thank you so much. God dang. Oh yeah yeah. I forgot that I had that. Let's see oxy fern plants, and then we're gonna copy settings. You and you. Okay, that's why that worked. <laughs> oh man. All right. This uh. I guess I'll go back to my original idea. Uh, sprinkler pipe mod needs to be created. Pipe, yeah, a little sprinkler. Sprinklers. Can you, re could you replant after? No, no, I don't think so. Did I not keep my settings? See, copy settings. I, I think I keep forgetting to hit the damn plant button. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do that thing I said I was gonna do before. It's a massive waste, but it's okay. It's uh, it's. Part of the science thing. Actually, we don't need every single one. We need like every other one. Every other one should be good. There we go. I need to figure it out since they added everything. Oh yeah, Arc File, like they, they've added so much cool stuff. Like you could seriously play this game for hours. Hours. <laughs> like just forever, man. Alright, so at the very least, we know we're gonna have all these connected. We just don't know which direction they're gonna go. What I'm thinking I could probably do is run some of this water down and have some radiant right here and just have it just just get blasted with Wii's work and then maybe get cooled, but I don't think that's gonna necessarily work. Let's go ahead and kill this. We might use some of those resources somewhere else. And then we'll grab some of this water here. Is this the hot is this the hottest water? Let me see. That's 143 degrees over here, it's 102. So I think we're gonna try to tap into this here, which is coming out here. Yeah. Maybe just directly out of this where it's the coolest. And we'll take this, we'll bridge it. And then we'll go from there. Uh, do I want to bridge? I know there was issues with the way that functions. It gets stupid. Um, we could bring it down here. Oh, you know what? We could... Oh, no, that's, that's a block right there, too. Damn. I have so many... Pipes all over the place. I don't really have a clean way of getting something from point A to point B without like overlapping and creating even more of a mess. Let me see. Liquid splitter A, which is uh, goes in there, and then B, which is okay. It's just a different shape. It looks like, but I think this is the one that I want, so that way I can go over here. Here we go. So I'll put that. Oh no, we need the A. There we go. No. Damn it. Just motherfucking pause. Oh, this is welcome to the chat room. What happened? The chat get reset? Let me see. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'll do. I yeah, I don't know how that stuff works either. I'm sure I'll get to it though. Like I honestly I feel like I, I will get to uh get to that point where I'm gonna start doing that, but And then we'll bring that down and we'll let me see. And then what I'll do is... One second, let me just get this finished here. Radiant. And then insulated over to here. And then we'll do radiant again. To go up like that. Which, it seems silly, but it, I feel like this will totally work. And then we'll bring it up. And then down and do here. There we go. Then we'll bridge some bridges. It's not easy. Yeah, listen to Chaos, man. He's been, like, seriously, his name's living up. <laughs> uh, I did that one there. And then we snip this between here and here. There we go. So now the question is, how... How quickly, or how quickly, yeah, how quickly will cool the water that's going to go in there? Because we can't put no hot-ass water in there. That's not going to work. Let 
The water sieve is doing so much work, man. There's a mod for bridges over two pipes? <laughs> that sounds freaking awesome. <laughs> that sounds amazing. All right, here we go. It's getting uh, finished here, it looks like. Oh, at the bottom here is not done. Oh, that's not done right there either. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it, overheated. Security, ah, oh, damn it. It's not one of mine. Almost, almost. Soggy feet. <laughs> ah, my feet are so soggy. There it is. All right, so let's see. Uh, it's coming in at 105 degrees. It's gonna go past this and it's gonna get cooled down to what? Eh, it's not much of a difference. But, oh, you know what? It does end up ultimately coming out maybe a little bit cooler. It, as long as it's under 106, which is I think what makes these things pissed. 104 actually, so. I think this this will work. So you, we should see these bins fill up and each one will support the adjacent ones. And then we guess we never have to use that system again. This uh, bottle emptier here. Because these things will keep them full. And it'll stop when they get full. Just like that. And that's it. Hardest working wheeze warts in the bit. That's right, man. These guys are working. Look at this. This Wow, this thing's really working. <laughs> 107 degrees. Oh my god. It's totally fine. How are these guys doing? God! Why? Body temperature. Oh my god. It's 86 degrees. And it's it's the max is 86 degrees. Just grow. Thank you. Stay growing. <laughs> I feel like eventually, obviously the, there's a problem with the, the water coming in at a pretty hot temperature. It's probably not helping them at all. But... As we, as we continue to work on, you know, the, uh, oh, there's no power. Oh, I, I busted the light. <laughs> All right. I busted the, the cable. So let me go ahead and have that fixed. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. When it got me. <laughs> How is this doing, by the way? 45 degrees is going in at what? It's going in at, uh, oh, it's creating a vacuum up here. Holy shit. I uh, see 30, so 30 degrees. What's the temperature of the stuff coming in here? 30 something degrees. So it was 50 degrees before. And it's coming out at. Are we reaching negatives yet? No, still in the teens. This is probably going to take a long time. This air is coming out. It's chill though. That is great. I almost want to. Well, it's actually. I mean, the temperature is actually matching what's outside, so I don't think I want to change that at all. Maybe adding a couple of rating here. Just get a nice little blast of extra chill as it goes out. It's 36 degrees and right here it's 41 degrees. So it drops a good 5 degrees, 4 degrees, 4 or 5 degrees actually, yeah, before it gets to here. So maybe two pieces, just like two pieces of radiant ventilation pipe will... Let me see. Don't really react. I made out of gold. One, two. That's all. How's our oxygen generation? We haven't touched that in a long time. Very breathable. We're good. Gold. Look at this thing. We we have so much oxygen in the base. Like, and this is all this is all relatively cool oxygen. I should just take this and pipe it everywhere. Like pipe it down here to try to, you know quell the uprising. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it's still pretty cold down here, or warm down here, so maybe we'll bring a pipe down here, because that's all backed up now, so let's do that. Let's grab ventilation, let's grab a insulated pipe, we'll bring some of this guy down here. Did I just move that over? No, okay, good. And then we'll just, uh, should we just go in the rooms and drop them off? Will they be upset about that? I don't think so. Let's go across. Like this. We'll just do that. We'll just go across. Let's give them all their own air con. This way we'll have a nice, even distribution of, uh... Oh, I guess. This guy's got so much stuff. Killing Demon's got so much crap in his room. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with all that. Like, where do I put the vent? 
<laughs> you love watching me play good times. Hey, I'm glad. What what I do? <laughs> Did I mess something up? <laughs> uh, all right, so it looks like it looks like we have to put this down a little bit, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. But um, actually, no, we'll just kill this center. He doesn't need that one. It's just the one. Ventilation. Starvation. Oh my God! Somebody's starving. Okay, I went away. I'm going to learn the lessons of HVAC. <laughs> I did this on the, um, actually the way I did, uh, oh man, wrong one. Wrong side, no, I can't do that. Can I, no, no, it's, it's off center. There you go. Um, the way I cooled down my last base, which was pretty effective until the entire thing went way out, like just haywire, was, um, you can, <laughs> yeah, no, I got it. I got it. I saw it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the way I cooled the other base was I had a hydrogen loop, just same way that I just built the hydrogen loop. Well, I haven't built it yet here, but, uh, the way I discussed that I wanted to do it. But base got a hydrogen loop that would circle around the base, and it would just have, like, little spots of radiant pipe that would, you know, uh, radiate some nice cool air, or not air, but it would cool the air around it. And so I'd use that to basically just, just cool the whole base. Kind of like, uh, kind of like a refrigerator works, actually. So, like, Freon. Same thing. So I just ran that through the entire base and it worked great. 139,000 kilocalories this thing is on, which means these things are off. Disable automation grid. But this is full of nothing but edible. I almost messed that up before. My dupes love edibles. <laughs> Not the other stuff. Uh, body temperature is still upset here. 86 degrees. Just barely. I feel like this is gonna this is gonna level itself out pretty pretty quickly here. Just a matter of I want now I want to see them get all this complete. I, I want it before we get out of here, I want to see this whole system work. How much am I? Let me see. Oil area, add drains. I didn't add the drains like I was going to. Uh, let me see. Strip mine under. I've done that actually. So good. We did do something. <laughs> Probably keep on strip mining actually. Yeah, there's a lot of heat down here too, but at least there's this abyssal light here that's not going to move. But all the subsidian, there's a bunch of iron in here, and we get all that. Except for the first time, you inevitably take away too much because you think it's not working. Yep, I've been there. Let me see. I want to take this, dig this out. Seems like, seems excessive, but just want to bring those all the way over and not cut into any of the obsidian. So we can reach that, that they can reach all that. Yeah, they can reach all that. And then I will put drain. So it's a one, two, three drain. Was it gold? And then we'll get a pipe. Liquid pipe. There you go. I can cross that off my list as well as the strip mine thing. Hey, look at that. We actually finished two sticky notes today. Let me see what else we got. Gas storage, refreeze, biome, tame oil stuff, uh, water issue, which we've pretty much taken care of the water issue, I think. Wow, that's a lot of steam. Remember what I said about obsidian the other day? Remember? Be prepared. Uh, what did you say? I think you said, uh... Oh, there's nothing wrong with cutting obsidian. It's just obsidian is, just, um... Or bisolite is, um... Is good as a good insulator. Just stays the same temperature. But down here is, uh, abyssalite as well. Like, I call it, they call it obsidian? This is obsidian here. Yeah, I wanted all that. But what, what was the problem with obsidian? Yeah, sorry, crossover. I meant, I meant abyssalite. Because the abyssalite acts as an insulator. Right? You can see it's, like, nice... Natural... Insulator on the entire base, so that's what I want. I want to keep that intact. Twenty-eight degrees. What is the temperature coming out? Thirty degrees. What's the temperature of the actual? Eleven degrees. So it's it's negative twelve degrees Celsius, but we're we're creating a vacuum up here, unfortunately. So I think what we should do is maybe move this down somewhere else. It is getting colder, but we're actually, we're, we're, we're kind of wasting energy here because we're not pulling enough. Like, I feel like if I should probably break all this stuff here, 
just to uh, increase the airflow or something, but it's pulling a lot. I had to check the obsidian heating things up, but it's- Oh, that's right! Yeah! It was 300 Celsius. I actually flashed all my dirty water and release heat hell. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on that. You're right. You're totally right. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, it's gonna go across here. I think I should take care of that as well. They make that jump, they can make that jump, and they can zap that as well. Good. Just like I increase airflow, I think. Maybe that'll help some. But I do think, I mean, if we look at this, you can see it's creating a vacuum over here, so... I don't know. I think just moving it might be the better idea. I just put it right here or something like that. Let's make another one. We'll have two. And we'll just shut that one off if needed. Damn, maybe it's flowing a little freer. Huh? 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 I just want to see big ass squares, and I'm not. I'm seeing little ass squares. So, we're just trickling it in. So yeah, let's build another one. We'll just put it, like, right here. Mmm, maybe right here. It'll be easier to manage. Go in and out. Is that actually on the power line, too? Nope. Can't have everything. And let's make that, uh, emergency, because I gotta go. I will, we can we can maneuver these things around wherever we need, but what I want right now is oh pipe block, huh? <laughs> I want <laughs> god damn it, I I want it to there we go, yeah I, I just wanted to be able to fill in the gaps here, but yeah yeah I forgot because it's on the <laughs> damn it these motherfucking pipes <laughs> oh man so how do I how do I fix this real quick. Uh, I could rebuild the whole thing, or, or, I can snip it here, and then, <laughs> and then I can, uh, grab this pipe, and we'll just go around, and we'll meet there. Perfect. Problem solved. Oh, how's this air doing? Uh, 35 degrees. Goes in at 40 degrees, 37 degrees. Oh, so you know what? That radiant gas pipe didn't really do too much. Extra gas pipe will solve the problem permanent. Not permanent. Well, actually, overall, it probably will. <laughs> there we go. That's what I want to see right there. Yes. Fat pipes. Oh, look at that. It's five degrees. It's getting colder. So we're using hydrogen in order to make this, but we're also generating hydrogen using the piped electrolyzer. We're taking the oxygen out of that piped electrolyzer. We're running it through this entire biome here, which is a relatively chill biome, and it's getting colder because we continue to cool it, cool the oxygen, or cool the hydrogen, and fill it into this room, and then cycle it back again. So, meanwhile, the, the, uh, uh, the oxygen that's being piped all the way around is just benefiting from the entire room being you know, whatever temperature it is, so it's at 45 degrees, 40s, what, at 35 degrees down here, 35 degrees, so the air is coming out at 37 degrees and getting colder, which is awesome. Uh, and it's just, it's gonna completely just sustain itself right now. Like, we have such an excess of, of hydrogen, we really are not gonna run out of hydrogen here. Oh, and the other thing, too, we're doing, there's another layer here where we're actually pumping water through it as well, so we're cooling water at the same time. Uh, Thankfully, we're not freezing water, but, I mean, it's coming in at 126 degrees and it's exiting at 47 degrees. That's pretty good. So, it turns out our little ice biome mishap is actually going to work itself out. I, I, I do wonder, though, like, how much hydrogen am I actually consuming in order to, in order to create, in order to uh, make this work? But I do have a backup way of getting more hydrogen in. I have tons of hydrogen stored here, 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 and I'm gonna have more here. Uh, so I do have more that I could feed into the system. But it is getting pretty thin though, look at that. We're pumping it all out. I don't know what the, uh, the consume- the, the rate of consumption is versus the rate of- why is it actually shutting off? Um, the rate of generation, because the only thing that's really generating hydrogen right now is the piped electrolyzer. Um, and that's it. And even that is like stopping every once in a while because getting over pressure. 
But hey, man, if this works. That's all I want. I just want ice cold hydrogen. What's in here? Hydrogen at 77 degrees. So I could very quickly just right here on this valve, just crank this up and let all this hydrogen back, all this hydrogen stored into the room. So if we ever run out of hydrogen, then we can do that. What is the consumption rate for this? I wonder. Hmm. Well, let's say this. Uh, after a certain amount of time, if this room ends up becoming a giant vacuum, <laughs> then we'll know that we're using more than we're spending. I think we're, I can think visually we can tell we're using more than we're spending. Uh, or, yeah, yeah, we're using more than we're, um, uh, we're spending more than we're earning, sorry. But I wonder, huh. The snow cone biome. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Let's go and actually turn on this vent. Get a little bit more in here. We'll make this, uh, like two, like 500. Oh man, it's, it's, it's getting, it's cranking through, man. And the oxygen is coming out. It's nice and cold. And there's lots of it. And it's being spread throughout the entire base. I mean, sure, it's, you know, pressure's built up everywhere. The hydrogen power chain, yeah, it can't. It really can't. We might need another solution there. Ice, hey, look at that ice. So let's see. We could see the, 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 it is making a difference here. Like it's cooler. You see this green showing up wherever these vents are. So that's great. So we are getting cold air to the rest of the base. I mean, fuck these goddamn blossoms, man. Picky ass. 86.3 degrees, man. Fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, they haven't built these ones yet. Um, the next thing we need to do... The next thing we need to do, according to the game... Yeah, I have a mod too that will show you that it's uh, like a white color. You can see right over here. Uh, oh, this is actually vacuums. You can see that, but uh, here you can see it's like a bright white, absolute zero. So it means that that's a vacuum. Twenty-eight degrees. It's getting thin. It's getting thin, but it's fine. It doesn't need to be super dense right now. But we also have all this too. So we have plenty of hydrogen around. Should we need to cycle some back into the system somehow? And we could grab that. How do we pull that in? I wonder. Oh, I know. All the dupes that come on this side are going to need a suit, right? So we could just run... There's one hydrogen, just one vent, or one uh, pump. We'll bring that down, and then we'll cross over, we'll cross over, we'll go out into space, we'll build a ladder <laughs> that comes down here, and then we'll put a vent right here. Yeah. Starving? Who's starving? Nobody's starving. God, I really wish I could just let this thing run and just see what happens, but, uh, but I gotta go, guys. <laughs> Declan's home. Everyone's home. Uh, why no oxygen? That thing's not running. But we're still, I think we're still backed up everywhere, right? Yeah, we're pretty backed up. It's, it's gonna, yeah, and this thing's still generating as well, so. It's crazy. We're, we're, our, our oxygen levels throughout the entire base are fantastic. Like, they have no problems with oxygen. The only problem is that it's starting to get a little warm, but even then it's like, I mean, what is the oxygen temperature here? Uh, 97 degrees, so it's getting a little warm. We'll have to work on that, but... There's no temp change in vacuum. Yeah, I'm just... No, I'm not trying to dump it... I'm dump hydrogen into space. I'm gonna just go out there and just build a ladder. <laughs> that goes down that bridges this area to this area here. And then we'll just run a vent and just have it right here and just, um, just pump it out here. Pump the hydrogen from above and reduce pressure at the base at the same time. Exactly. Reduce pressure in the base, we get cooler air in. Uh, and we have to worry about these vents all backing up, and we can keep that air circulation going. So that's, that's, um, actually let me write that one down. God, I don't want to have a list, but I have to. <laughs> I have to. Alright. So, uh, where's my pink ones? Here we go. Pink ones are auction not included. Alright, so, let's see. Pump hydrogen into ice biome. I wonder if I should just go ahead and map that out real quick. Insulated pipe. We'll start up here. Very, very tippy top. And we'll just go straight down. 
And should I go around or should I go down? Yeah, let's go around. I'll go down. Ooh, can I make that jump with a liquid or with a gas bridge, I wonder? Uh oh. Okay. Yes, I can. Okay, good. Might as well put these up over here. Over here. Wow, they built that super quick. Here and here. They still have to run. They're getting crazy, but they still have to run, uh... What's it called? Um, power over there as well. So, should I run that? Or should I run it down here? Is there a way to hand it off, maybe? Not really. Yeah, we'll have to break the seal. We'll have to go out here and do it. Do it out here. We're gonna go to space. Let's see, granite is everywhere, so we'll do that. This way I could just not have my... I don't have to worry about having my, um... Fuck, what was I gonna say? The, uh... Sticky note. You just do it. Yeah, what do I bring it up from? Probably right... So much crap in the way. Right here, I guess. I don't know what else was... What else, was, what else am I supposed to do with space? Drywall the whole thing? Alright, and then... And then from here, they could just, uh... Drop in the vent. Oh, I gotta get the actual vent and get it run over here. Where should I put it? Uh, maybe not right. We'll bring it out and we'll like here. Again, the plastic, the the having plastic would make some of this so much easier because I can just continually pump hydrogen everywhere. Um, because it would just force it in. Alright, so we'll go ahead and auto that. Looks like they got all this done, most of it done. Oh, Haku. Ah, uh, shit. No, it's fine. I don't have a farm or anything for it yet, so nothing for me to do there. Let's see. Then we'll bring this up. the ventilation. I know, it's like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I have so much stuff to do tonight, too. But hey, that's, that's the, this is the price we pay, man, for crack. <laughs> oh, I was like, what the hell is that? The damn thing's getting pelted up here. Do, 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 do. Gold, all kinds of stuff, look at that, wow. Meteor storm inbound. I know, I know. I heard that. And I was like, oh god, what's happening? It's all super speed though, so this is what it looks like normally. Huh. That's cool. Oh wow, they built that quick. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. It's working. They're going out there. They're, they're building it out here. They're going to let go of some of this gas, which sucks, but it's fine. Like, we have plenty of reserve, and there's lots of pressure here, so we're not going to have anything go in. Everything's going to go out. God, I want to see this through to completion here. You haven't even seen space yet? I know, I, have, I haven't done a single space mission. And I thought I was going to do that, like, two days ago. And there's just so many resources that you need in order to make that happen. It's ridiculous. This is so dumb. I can't believe we're doing this, guys. We're going, we're going out into space with a la ladder. <laughs> to run, to run hydrogen down here so we could keep this process going. This is so stupid. Uh, it is, is it warmer over here now? 47 degrees? No, I think that's about what it was before. But over here it is 20 degrees, so it's very slowly, but it is getting cooler. This is getting warmer though, look, it's uh, 73 degrees. If things start to go south in terms of heat down here with the thermoregulators, I'm just gonna pump, I'll just pump some hydrogen down in there. Just, just pump some hydrogen, just temporarily cool it or turn it off or something. Space ladder, that's right. Oh my god, I got a bazillion notifications. Oops. Ah. Just let let it work for a second. Oh. 
Um, Lindsay wants to plan out the shoot that we have in March. We still have a lot of time, but she wants to start planning it now. Which is fine with me. Security door is locked, but they could go on either side and work on that. Stop seeing the I know, I know. This is going to take forever to get done, so I don't think that's going to happen. 490. God, I just want to make it to 500, but it's not going to happen. Uh, they still have all this to build. Yeah, so there's still a lot of stuff to do, but thankfully, that's just going to happen. Like, that's just going to do it on its own. So let me go ahead and actually write this off. We don't need that sticky note. Yes. Yeah, air lot to catch natural gas and pump it back into the chamber. Oh, uh, well, I'm not worried about... I mean, this is just going to go out to space. I'm not worried about... This natural gas, I have two vents here, so it's this is not a big problem if, uh, if, if that leaks a little bit. All right, I think that's it. We could stay here for another how many minutes to, to get that thing completed, but let's just do a quick tour of what we have, and then, and then I'm out. So let's see, 129 degrees of so the water over here is starting to, starting to be reclaimed. So it's going to start getting hot again, but it's going to take a long time. It's a massive body of water. The water over here is cool, 83 degrees. So that's nice. Uh, it's got leaks over here. There's natural gas. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's natural gas here that's like all over the place now. Um, that's something we're going to have to deal with for sure. But thankfully, like there's a couple of doors in the way and there's not a ton of it. So it's not really pushing its way out. I mean, what is the pressure over here? Yeah, so it's slowly making its way up, but I don't think it's going to be a problem yet. Uh, nobody is going in here to do anything as far as I know, just the strip mining that I had them do, which is awesome. It's also super hot down here, and that's not going to stop. But this is going to be an area where I'm just going to have, I don't know, maybe a couple of power generation stuff. You know, things that generate heat. That's what you do with this these areas. Uh, and that's it. So, I guess until next time, our space ladder will, uh, we'll work on that next time and go from there. God, look at that. The whole biome just completely isolated from the other one. Oh, man. And my base is starting to slowly warm up. It scares me a little bit. But I think once we do all this, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. The air will just kind of diffuse and we'll get cooler air pumped in there and all this stuff. Boy, I'm really cross my fingers that this works. So, um, yep. Yeah. So that's it. Thanks for watching, dudes.